Hi there, this is Saber Crypto. Okay, so my freeway video yesterday, uh, ironically, it's my most popular video for a while, actually. And uh, it's a shame that because it's, you know, it's a negative one. Uh, well, reasonably negative, uh, you know, talking about the possibility that freeway uh, might have gone down the pan a little bit. Uh, or completely, um, we don't know yet. And the freeway.io site is still showing this um, uh, this message here about uh, not being able to buy back superchargers at the moment. Okay. Now, since then, um, you know the general sentiment uh, in the space seems to have got a bit better. Actually, I mean, I've noticed that I mean, the freeway price was right down here, point zero 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 nine one three dollars. <laughs> And uh, it's actually up 100%, you know, so, um, you know, oddly enough, if anyone had been brave enough to sort of buy freeway token down there, they would actually be 2x up at the moment. But uh, I I didn't. I, I, I was going to, but I couldn't log into that um, Ascendex uh, exchange. For some reason, it's supposed to send a, a, a text to my phone, but I didn't get the text, so I kind of gave up, really. Um, anyway, it's probably... It's probably just as well because at the time when I was looking at it, the price was sort of here, so it would have dropped a little bit, and I'd still be down anyway. So uh, I, I, I don't think I was going to catch that bottom there. But um, congratulations to anybody who did. You're very brave and have more faith than a lot of people. Um, one guy who seems to have a bit more faith is old Carlos from uh, Normal Guy. Um, he did a video at the weekend, uh, you know, being quite sort of down. He was actually sounding quite worried, quite emotional. And uh, this one today is is a lot more sort of hopeful. Um, give it a watch anyway and, you know, like his, uh, like his video, like I have. Make sure you subscribe to him and uh, tell him that I sent you. That'd be nice because um, he's only got 707 subscribers and I've got 6,000. So thank you, every, everyone who subscribed recently. Uh, but yeah, so he's a bit more positive. Um, now, I did send a message to the contacts I have at Freeway, who is uh, my concierge, is what they call it. So they picked 100 people. I guess they did it by the by the size of uh, your investment, maybe, um, which I probably am in the top 100, to be honest. Uh, which is, you know, slightly slightly foolish, but um, you can't change the past, can you? But anyway, so I've got this concierge guy, Tom, and uh, he did reply, actually. I'll just show you what he replied. Okay, so what I said on the 23rd of October was, uh, Hi, Tom, as my concierge, anything good I can tell my viewers. And he replied saying, Hi, Sabre Crypto. Uh, firstly, my sincere apologies in taking so long to reply during such uncertain times for freeway users. We were issued a legal instruction to not say anything until an official statement came out. Okay, that's the situation I thought, which is why there was all that silence. As you know, this came out yesterday, and I have understandably been flooded with concerned users. Okay. Uh, I'm sure that you will have loads of questions and want more detail on what has happened, but sadly, right now, I don't know any more than what has been said in the statement, and we only had visibility of this in the minutes before it was released publicly. Of course, as a freeway supercharger user and freeway token holder, uh, I have all the same questions and concern as yourself, and we'll be asking the tough questions on your behalf this week. That's cool. It is highly likely, however, that for legal reasons, that all updates are done via the main official channels, so do keep a close eye on these. Okay, he said, I remain confident that the senior management team, as they always have done, will put users first when it comes to finding the best possible solution to the situation. And I just said, thank you, Tom. It's good to hear from you. I do understand the situation you're in. I will look forward to hearing, hopefully, some good news. Okay, so, I mean, this got me thinking, like, you know, if Freeway turns around and make things as they were before, okay, people are going to lose confidence massively, but it's going to look really good for them. And I think they've got to do it, you know, because they really have invested a lot of time, energy, money, you know, hiring people, 
um, getting offices together and stuff like that. And I, I, I do honestly believe all that happened. Um, you know, they, they put so much effort into all this that it, I just can't see it going up in a puff of smoke. So, um, I don't know. It makes me even more confident now than I was yesterday um, that we will get a good result from this. So that's, I think, quite positive. Anyway, it's good to get a message from Tom personally. And, and also, there was one yesterday, yesterday evening, from Graham, um, which is one to everybody. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it or not, but I'll, I'll just read it. Um, it said, Dear Freeway community, thank you for your patience during this really difficult time. We know you've all had questions about what has happened and what the next steps are going to be. The following is our understanding. One of our freeways trading strategies appears to have failed and caused a substantial loss to be incurred due to unexpected market volatility. Two simultaneously converging factors contributed to this, the unprecedented USD rally and the crypto volatility. Um, I was never actually aware that crypto was involved with their trading, but um, obviously it was. Or maybe that's to do with what they borrow against, I don't know. Anyway, uh, it is important to note that the custody services and trade execution carried out by the Ardu Prime brokerage had nothing to do with this failure. The trading strategy was executed as it was programmed, but the market volatility caused a spike in margin utilisation leading to the loss. Ardu continues to be a trusted service provider. In addition, the strategy used by us in our Earn and Protect product beta has been verified as operating well and it has hard stop losses fully in place and executed at the brokerage level. Unfortunately, the trading loss has been incurred has dramatically impacted Freeway's portfolio, but having been made aware of these losses, we are taking steps to secure Freeway's remaining funds and have already moved out of the loss producing strategy. We are also bringing in new expertise to manage the remaining funds whilst we run multiple recovery plans in parallel, each in our view capable of recovering our position fully. Each recovery plan is independent. The first recovery plan is the management and growth of the remaining funds with an experienced governance team working behind the scenes that can maintain a more controlled environment and follow similar models to those we have created for Earn and Protect. The second recovery plan is a strategy we started in June as a diversification opportunity and is showing a lot of positive potential. The third recovery plan is a strategy involving deploying major new funding in a totally new product with impressive projected profitability. We are not in a position to release details of this strategy until the funding has been finalised. Our fourth recovery plan is centred around really getting Earn and Protect off the ground with all of its user protections safeguarded by the Orbit Reserves Foundation. The faster we move on all fronts, the faster the recovery will happen. In order for us to resume supercharger buybacks, we need to be in a position to execute safely. We will therefore need to see significant inroads into the losses before they can happen, and that will take time. We would be grateful for your continued support and patience during that period. We know that is it is common for disasters in this sector to result in no resolution. This is not our position at all. That sounds good. This is going to be a tough road for us, but we will be driven, dedicated and resolute in our efforts to obtain the right outcome for the members of our community. During the time from now until we are able to recommence partial and then eventually full supercharger simulation purchases, buybacks, we will be involved in the community in a voting system to better understand your views on the actions we approve. We will also request permission from our compliance team and or external legal advisors wherever possible to share detailed progress reports with our community, including information that is usually considered to be only available internally in similar situations. We know your next question is going to be about the length of time involved. We do not have an immediate answer for this, but rest assured we will be pressing on as hard and as rapidly as possible. It is in nobody's interest to delay. As soon as we have tangible and reliable estimates of time frame, we will share what we can. 
We intend to get more updates and to resume regular communication as soon as possible. This doesn't sound like a rug pull, <laughs> you know. This this actually sounds like they've 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 effed up well bad, and they're trying to fix it. I mean, me personally, you know, that that was kind of money in there that I was intending on using in a few years' time. Um, now, if this can get resolved within, I don't know, six months or a year or something, then I'm going to be very happy. Um, and it, it might happen sooner. Um, it might not happen at all, but I don't think it will. But I don't know. Anyway, I'm just reporting the facts that I know and what I've seen. So uh, there you go. Please do give the video a like and uh, you know make sure you're subscribed and uh, all that good stuff. And you don't have to tell your friends, but it'd be nice if you did. All right, take care. Peace.